Nowadays, Gemini AI has become really, really popular and recently its API key is free. So you can uh, use its API key free of charge and use it for your personal project. So as it is free now, let's uh, create a Telegram bot using Gemini AI and Telebot. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So first of all, uh, we will create a Telegram bot. So for creating telegram bot, uh, go to your telegram and search for bot father. So this is bot father. First of all type slash new bot and hit enter. It will ask for a new name. So let's give it a name. Gemini underscore bot. 009 so the name should be unique so if it's not unique it will throw an error so it says uh it must end in bot okay so jamini underscore bot it must not be available yeah it's not available so jamini 099 underscore bot yeah it is available so for you it won't work because i have taken it so you have to create a new a uh, name that is not available so we will need this api key the next thing that we will need is uh, we will need to have python installed in our pc because we uh, for this video we are using python to create the telegram bot to install python go to google.com and then search for python and go to the first link python.org and then from here go to download section and as per your operating system just download the python and install it so for mac os and linux python is installed by default but for windows you will need to install it separately so after installing python you will need to uh, go to this repository the pi telegram bot api so the link will be shared in the description so go to this link and scroll down we will follow this guide so here you can see it says pip install pi telegram bot api so where to type it and uh, what to do this must be overwhelming for you but don't worry we will catch up so we will need an id uh, if you don't have any ID installed, just uh, install Visual Studio Code. This is really, really simple and so powerful. Just install for your operating system, and you will, you should have this installed. Now, let's uh, go to a separate folder, create a new folder let's say this gemini bot now press shift and right click on your mouse and then open powershell window here then uh, just hit code space dot and it will open this folder inside visual studio code right click on this blank space and hit new file so here we will type main.py is a good name so for main.py now we will get back to the repository documentation and then now we will need this command pip install pytelegram bot api so as i'm assuming your python is installed click here this toggle panel and now paste it and hit enter so i already have it installed yours might take a bit of time and when your pi telegram bot is uh, installed just close it and we are here with blank id so what to do let's get back to the repository and scroll down here as you can see this import telebot so let's uh, import this so after this let's copy this line and then paste it here so it is asking for a 
token let's get back to our telegram the bot father and here is our token just copy it and let's replace this token text with that but it must be uh, wrapped with these inverted commas let's copy this and we will get back to it soon so what this function does this is a lambda function and this lambda function takes a message and then it replies back to the user the same message but we actually don't want the same message but uh, we want to uh, send back the gemini ai response so when we uh, implement the gemini ai thing we will just replace this message.txt with gemini ai response so let's uh, for now let's uh, keep it like this and let's see what else is required so we need this thing bot dot infinity polling so it will poll frequently we are almost done with our basic telegram bot so now we will just run it let's let's just run it for running this bot just make sure you are in this folder uh, i mean the folder you are uh, keeping the python file and then just hit python space and then give the file name main.py and hit enter and if everything goes all right uh, you will end up with this this blank thing and it should be running now let's uh, go to this thing done congratulations on your new bot you will find it at this so this is our bot address so let's go to here and this is our gemini bot let's hit start and as you can see we sent slash start and it is responding us with slash start so it is just mimicking what we are sending to it so if we say hello it will send us back hello if we say hi it will send back us hi so our basic functionality is completed so let's now uh, go to our gemini ai thing so if you search gemini ai on google you will end up uh, with this link the deep mind google so let's go to this just click on here it will also take you here and now just go to this link ai.google.dev and then get api key in google ai studio mm, all right so use google ai studio so let's uh, close this for now and we will create new so now uh, this is important which one to choose for example you want to um, train your own model so if we go here you can see we can give instruction to the model and uh, for which input uh, what will it output and so on and so forth you can even give 500 examples like this so this is helpful if you want to create your own model you, if you want to train your own model uh, on top of Gemini AI AI's already uh, trained model so and another uh, prompt system is chat prompt so we will need this one so if you want to train it a bit you can also do it for example if you want the user uh, if you uh, um, want the model to behave like this if the user says hi the model would say hey i am a telegram bot my name is gemini bot and then you can set another uh, user input and model output and so on so after this uh, we can test uh, here and if we say 
high it should respond something like this but not like no, it is it's, it didn't uh, actually so who are you it's still in beta stage but yes i am gemini bot a conversational AI bot so uh gemini bot thing is properly kept here so let's uh, worry less about it and just uh so yeah it's working now let's get the code this google ai studio is really really great because it gives us everything converted into code itself so over here if you uh, just hit get code and you will get all these um, programming language and the platforms that where you can use this so you can just use curl and then use it in postman to send or receive response and this is for javascript this is for python this is for android and this is for swift so uh, for now we will need python so just go over here and if you scroll down a bit yeah as you can see all these things are already uh, registered here as history so for hi it saying hey i am a telegram bot my name is jamini bot so this is all this all our history so let's just copy it and for now let's make a new file and just paste it so if we go to the top we can see it asks us to install these things let's install now let's first close it by hitting ctrl c and now let's paste this and hit enter so yeah i'm done with installing what i will need is this gen ai api key we will need our own api key. now let's hit on get api key and over here you can see create api key in new project so click here i already have an api key created here so let's copy it and uh, for you it should create an api key for your project and then you have you have to just copy it and go to your code and replace this thing over here and let's paste it that should be it and now if you go over here so this part is for uh, what text you are asking to the bot so let's uh, ask it hello how are you and it will give us the output let's uh, run this file for now and then if it runs well we'll just implement it in our main pi so let's uh, run it with python and gemini pi and hit enter and it is communicated with the api and fetching the response yes and we got our response so this is our response a big nice response so great we are getting our response so we can finally implement this thing with uh, into our main pi which is our telegram bot python file so let's take it over there for taking it to there first of all you have to copy this line import the import let's copy it and then this thing this chain ai configure and blah 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 and then generation config safety settings model equal to this and history and this so let's copy till this and just just replace it uh, just place it here and that should be it
and for these two lines let's copy this and go over here and then just so uh, for now our battery reply is turned off so let's test if it can give us any output in our console so let's clear the console for now and let's run this main pie so it is running and if now if we go to our gemini bot and say hi basically it is saying hi but actually the text that is uh, going to the api it is hello how are you so yeah we are getting our response that's a good news so if we now put it in a variable like response equal to this and then uh, instead of this hard coded text we'll pass this message message dot text and then let's uncomment this line and bot dot reply to masses instead of masses dot text we are going to send response and we should be done let's try it i'm really excited hello great we got our first conversation what's an eiffel i don't know what's the actual spelling ah, just ignore this nice so we are getting our responses and yeah it's great and that is it congratulations you just created your own chatbot with gemini ai api and telegram telebot and one more thing to note is that the python server must be running to keep your uh, bot alive if you have any question just text me on telegram and i will try to answer as soon as i can and uh, I would really love to see your works. So just build a bot and just send it to me. I will try it. And I really appreciate your work. So thanks for staying till now and till next time. Bye bye.